Hey everyone, Srini Rao here, host of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast, and I wanted to record the first of a series of videos about getting started with Notion. Uh, as you can see, Notion is the all-in-one workspace, and it allows you to basically get rid of tons of your tools. We've replaced all our task managers. I've replaced my distraction-free writing software with Notion. Uh, we manage projects. We communicate with team members. And it really allows you to just streamline your entire process for whatever it is that you do. And as you can see here, it allows you to get rid of all of these different tools. So what I'm going to do is walk you through some of the basics. When you first log in, it'll ask you to... Uh, specify a couple of different things, just standard stuff with, um, you know, signing up for any product. They'll ask you, you know, what you want to call your workspace. So as you can see here, I have actually created a Google account called Notion Essentials that will allow me to sign in using Notion. And as you can see here, they actually give you a really simple page to get started with. Now, the first page that you see is basically your core workspace. And so what I usually do is just name this. So for example, we'll name this workspace Notion Essentials, and we can even assign it an icon so that uh, it doesn't get confusing. So this is where you're gonna basically see everything that you wanna see. So I'm gonna take you know all the different stuff here that they ha have here, and we're gonna hide it. Um, you can always reveal it later, uh, but what I wanna do is show you some of the basic things that you can do in Notion. So as you can see here, we've created an account. And the neat thing about Notion is that it's modular and it's completely customizable, which means that you can actually set it up based on whatever your workflow is. So blocks are the basic building blocks of Notion. As you can see here, they give you a bunch of different blocks. You can use text, uh, where if you want to write in just text and start writing, you can actually embed pages within pages, which is really where the power of Notion comes to life. Uh, as you can see here, you also have the option to add lists, quotes, whatever you want, dividers. You can tag people, you can mention them. So the basic idea behind setting up your space is is really simple. Uh, you basically just create a couple of the different blocks. So let's say that we wanted to add a new line as they suggest here. Well, in this case, I'm gonna just add some basic text and I'm gonna say, okay, my name is Srini. I'm the creator of the Notion Essentials YouTube channel. And so you can see here, uh, it also, if you're using it on the web, will actually integrate with Grammarly and catch uh, all of the things that you type wrong, which I seem to be doing a lot of here. But uh, it's fairly straightforward. So the basic thing we want to do is to basically customize this workspace. We give it an icon so that it's recognizable. So that's basically creating text. Now, where this becomes really powerful is that you're able to nest things within each other, nest pages within pages. So you can see here, there's a sub page. Now this is their example sub page. And if we wanted to create a sub page, for example, what we could do is we could say, okay, we're going to get rid of all of this and get rid of everything here. Uh, they have this really nice uh, support thing and their support is absolutely fantastic. They answer questions within minutes. So if you're confused at all, all you have to do is do what they said. Just click on that question mark, send a message, and you usually get a reply, usually in no less than 24 hours. And if it's during the week, you get one in less than 24 minutes. Uh, so needless to say, I'm a big fan. But what we're going to do in this case is we're going to create just a very simple couple of different things. So let's say that I have a task list for this YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a to-do list. I'm going to say upload icon to YouTube channel so that I have a different icon. Uh, I'm going to say record my second video, which will come after this. So basically, you can create a simple to-do list. So you could literally run your whole day from, from right here in Notion if you want to run your tasks for the day. Uh, my favorite part of this, obviously, is the ability to do subpages, as I mentioned. So for example, let's say that you wanted to write an article, uh, you know, how to get started with Notion. So if I go back to my other workspace, uh, what you'll see is I'll see this basic post on how to get started with Notion. This is a post on how to get started with Notion. I can actually break it up into headings and add quotes and callouts. And you'll see that it basically mirrors a blog post. And the great thing about this is that it's completely distraction free. In fact, we can actually make this part of the screen disappear. And what you'll notice is that the moment you start typing, all the navigation goes away. So it's completely distraction free. And so that allows you to just stay focused, stay in flow, 
and as a result, get a lot more done. You can also add in headings, as you can see here. So uh, what we'll do is here, we'll use a heading one, you know, Notion Essentials. We can use a heading two, which is your first sub page. And we can use a heading three, which is Notion for creative people. So these are just some simple examples. This is how I usually use Notion to format a blog post. So pages are, are one of the other basic building blocks. One of the best examples I've ever heard uh, in terms of how to describe this is it's kind of like Legos. You can basically build it however you want. And if you just type the slash button for commands, you'll get all of these different things. So for example, uh, we could link to an existing page within Notion. We can create a divider. So for example, if you wanted to have your tasks for the day, so pretty much anything that you want to replicate, whether it's a bullet journal, whether it's a David Allen GTD framework, you can actually replicate it and build it for yourself in Notion. So this is the really, really basic overview of how to first get started. So basically you just wanna create an account, come in here and play around, try the various different blocks. And with each different block, you can create a bunch of different things. So for example, if you wanted to create a table within a block, you could do that. Uh, I find that tables are really useful for creating editorial calendars. So this is one of the things that makes Notion incredibly powerful is that you don't have to leave this tool. So for example, if people are sending you emails, you no longer have to communicate with them in Notion uh, or in email. You can actually do it all through Notion. And it just streamlines your entire workflow process, uh, particularly for knowledge workers. Uh, where you know, we're constantly switching between apps and products, and as a result, we're shifting our attention. So that's not really good if you really want to be productive. So basically, as you can see here, we're in the Notion Essentials page, which is our workspace. Now, you'll see here that if I want to go back, um, I can basically find all that. And not only that, it nests it, and it's this really nice hierarchy. So I think the key to Notion really is um, uh, structure. And we'll talk a little bit about structure and workflow in some of the other videos. But this is just the basic overview on how to get started. Uh, it's super simple. Uh, I hope you found this video valuable. I'll be creating a ton more. I have a ton of content on my uh, unmistakablecreative.com website as well in terms of how I manage projects and how I do other things in Notion. So hopefully you found this useful. And uh, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below or shoot me an email at notionessentials at unmistakablemedia.com.